With the new update guys, beside 10 new chapters, we got some changes, I would say significant changes, about which developers didn't bother to announce. So in this video, let me show you them. But before I'll do it, like this video, subscribe my channel and don't watch other YouTubers. Most changes we have with collectibles, a friend of mine told me only about armor coitus, but when I checked all of them it popped out that we have a lot of changes. Frankly speaking, most of them are not significant, for example, let's take a look on Void Wacker Sash collectible. Before update, it was set red hold damage plus 50%, now they give us little better description by telling that it's Astral Forge skill boosted. Before you could not know that it's Astral Forge skill because for not legend equipments, Astral Forge skills are not shown. The next change is significant, especially for those who like Eternal Glows, because at 10 stars, instead of plus 20% to crit rate, it gives plus 20% to crit damage. As for me, they had to announce about it. Anyway, Eternal Glow sucks. From bad changes, let's go to good changes to Armor Coitus. At 3 stars, it is boosted because besides plus 3 seconds in soul state, now you get plus 10% attack. 10 stars is also boosted, instead of plus 10% attack, you get plus 20%. The last what was changed for some survivors for Katniss, Selena and Worm. Instead of revival effect plus 5%, they have another skill, healing effect plus 5%. So guys, that's all new changes we got, at least about which I know. I want to thank Kebby for giving me new work, because I had to update my list of collectibles. Thank you. Subscribe my channel and like this video, I know you're watching me.